everyone. Welcome to Minimal Mindful Mama. Today we're going to be talking about eight things that you can declutter in the month of August. As summer is winding down and the new school year is approaching, it's always helpful to have a fresh start and to streamline things in our homes so that we can have the most simple transition possible. If you're new here, I'm Katie Mixon. I love making videos that help other busy moms to declutter and organize their lives so that you can enjoy your motherhood and not have to spend all of your time cleaning and organizing and feeling like you can never catch up. The first thing that you can declutter in August is bathing suits. Go through your own bathing suits, go through your kids' bathing suits, anything that is outgrown or too worn or that you won't be wearing again next summer, you can go ahead and declutter. Especially if you're the kind of person who buys a new bathing suit each year, then your old bathing suits can really start to pile up and oftentimes we don't even reach for those. So any that you know that you wouldn't be choosing to wear next year, maybe that you didn't ever reach for this summer, you can go ahead and let go of and free up that space in your closet. The second thing is any summer clothes or shoes that maybe, again, are outgrown or too worn or you didn't reach for this summer. If you have a pretty good idea of what your kids' sizes will be next year, you can go through their summer things and make sure that you pass along the things that will be outgrown by next year rather than just packing them away and then having a bunch of clothing that is too small for them to deal with next summer. Anything in your own closet that maybe you didn't enjoy wearing or maybe you tried wearing it but you couldn't wear it for a whole day because it wasn't comfortable or didn't fit quite right, don't just pack those things away for next year. Go ahead and let them go. Let someone else enjoy those items and only pack away those things that you loved wearing and you're excited to see again next year. The third thing you can declutter is your drop zone or you might have a mudroom or an entryway or coat rack, whatever your area is that when you first come through the door, you drop everything. This is a great area to declutter. Right now, it's probably storing your pool bag or your beach things. And very soon, it's going to need to be the spot where backpacks are going to be going. And a bit after that, some jackets. So this is a really good opportunity to go through the area, give it a good clean, declutter anything that maybe is broken or you don't care for anymore, and streamline this area as much as possible. This way, once the school year starts, this area won't be such a pain point anymore. Oftentimes, getting out the door or arriving home from school or work are some of the toughest parts of the day as far as mess goes. I know my kids have a tendency to walk through the door and drop their backpacks and papers everywhere. So it's really helpful to have this area cleaned up and decluttered so that at least it's a little bit easier for them to see when they walk in that they can hang up their backpack on the hooks. The fourth thing you can declutter this August is any unloved fall decor or fall items that you aren't excited to see. This could include things in your closet. This could include a variety of things. But as you start to slowly make a transition from summer over to fall, whether you're the person who does it immediately as soon as you can, or if you're the person who likes to hold off a little bit longer, just keep in mind as you begin to bring some of those fall items out that if there's anything that you see that you don't want to put out or that's not really your style anymore or that isn't making you happy and excited, don't just put it out and don't leave it away in storage. Go ahead and declutter that item. It's the perfect time to declutter these items, especially as people are beginning to decorate their homes. They're looking for some of these items. So something that you've used year after year and just doesn't bring you joy anymore might be exactly what someone else has been looking for and will be so excited to find. If you're enjoying this video so far, please be sure to like it down below and subscribe as well. If you ring that little bell button, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out on any of my tips. The fifth thing that you can declutter is your outdoor yard toys or tools. 
This may include your garage, it may include your shed, it may just include your beach bag. Whatever you're feeling like is an important project for you to tackle. But as the seasons change, again, we probably have some summer things. Maybe you have a kiddie pool or a slip and slide or your beach toys. Maybe you've been doing house projects all summer and maybe your shed is just a disaster full of all of the things that you never actually put back or project scraps. But this is a great time to get rid of any broken or unwanted summer items. Anything that maybe you used but now you're finished with, you won't be needing again, or maybe your kids have outgrown. You can pass these items along so that you can begin the new fall season with a decluttered, organized area that's easy to access all of the things that you'll be needing. The sixth thing that you can declutter is any seasonal books or toys. Maybe with your kids home from school this summer, you got a couple extra toys for the house to keep them busy and occupied. Personally, I like to switch out the books seasonally so that they're always fresh and interesting and then I'll have put away the books from the previous season to bring out again next year. But just think about what items you might have for yourself or for your kids that are seasonal and you can either declutter these or you can pack them away for next year. The next thing that you can declutter this August is your tea towels or kitchen linens. You may have some that are seasonal and you may have some that you never reach for or that are worn out. So you can go ahead and declutter those and then go through what you have remaining. Only keep the ones that you truly love and use. Many times these are items that can kind of accumulate in our lives and we have more than what we actually realistically use. Things like tablecloths or maybe even cloth napkins. If you don't use these on a regular basis, then pick out the ones that you love and that you know that you would use if you hosted a holiday gathering or something and you can declutter the rest. The final thing that you can declutter this August as we move into more of the cozy fall season is your throw blankets. Again, look through them and see if there's any that are worn out or that you no longer care for. Determine which ones are the ones that you're actually excited to put out and use and to see again in your home. And if there's any that you kind of just aren't excited about, it's a great time to declutter those items. If you have any that are pretty worn out, oftentimes animal shelters will accept these items so you can look into donating them there so that they'll go to a good home that will use them but only keep the ones that you would buy right now if you saw it in the store. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope these ideas were helpful to you. If you have ideas of other things that you're decluttering this August, be sure to comment those down below. I'm also decluttering my house this August and doing all of these things that I have listed. And so it's always helpful to me when I get a fresh perspective from someone else who maybe had a different approach. So I would love to hear all your ideas below in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you want more decluttering tips, I have a whole decluttering playlist, so be sure to check that out as well. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy decluttering, and I will see you very soon in the next one.